All right. Then I wanted to check with my pendulum and make sure that these cards are right for you guys. It just feels right in in uh, in doing so. Okay. Is the okay? Is that one six of chalices? Is the five of pentacles? Is the oh king? Okay, so I'm going to, uh, you know, when I was pulling cards, the Oak King, this which is the same as the Hanged Man wanted to come out, but there felt like there was something else, and that's why I'm asking. I normally don't do this in front of the camera in front of you guys, but you know what? Hey, that happens when you pull cards, and you use your intuition and your empathicness to do so. So, But there is there is still another card that wants to come out. All right, so there you go. Okay, I feel better. I feel more complete. <laughs> so any of you all that pull cards, <clears throat> you know, you may think, well, you know what? I, they're going to think, well, sh she's pulling another one. She doesn't know what she's doing. But no, I was actually using my feelings of this, this spread was not complete without some additional card that wanted to come out. And it turns out to be the Empress card. And we'll go over that in a minute. All right, so your first card, Libra, in, in the environment position is the Emperor. It's called the Horned God in this particular deck. And the Emperor card is the typical, archetypical, you know, authorian, authoritative, if I can say it, authoritative figure. He can be a principal at a school. He can be a politician that's in a judge that's a ruler or a, any type of monarchy. He also represents to me a Capricorn. So any of you all that, um, this is in your environment. So an earth sign, a Capricorn, as you can see, he has this awesome physique. He's been out in the forest. He's been hunting, but he the animals are right by his side. So he has obviously a discipline. I keep saying the word authority over his environment. And this may be someone that is steady there for you. Again, think of any Capricorns, someone who has um, supported you and given you ideas and suggestions and you feel like they're always there for you. It can be a husband. It can be a father. I just feel like that this is someone, it could be about love and relationships. It very well could be. If it, if it's not someone you know of, think of someone because this comes up for me with the the um, the emperor card of the horn God is someone who is in spirit, someone who's passed over um, are passed on rather that feels like they were always giving you encouragement. They could be around you and, you know, that spiritual essence of when, you know, we're in holding patterns, which it kind of feels like we are right now with all the, you know, the planets in retrograde. And then it'll probably be June, July, before we really start to take a deep breath and know where we are, we're in a little bit of an incubation or gestation period. And this is good because it helps us to discern, figure out which path, what really makes our heart sing. Where do we go next? What's the be in our best interest? What do we value most? What are our dreams? <clears throat> so, you know, if you are having guidance from your guides, your angels, that comes up for some of you, or if you've prayed for guidance and you're very close to your angels or archangels, you know, it could be th that as well. And if this is like your foundation, like, you know, you can always go to them or you can always ask for, you know, in your privacy, what, what you want and, and to help you make clear decisions to give you a sign. If you, need to move forward in a relationship or in a job or anything that you need. I feel like this is here for you. This person, this essence is here for you. Okay, Libra. And in your challenge position is the Six of Cups. Six of Chalices in this deck. And this is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups are about childhood memories. Thinking about some of those fond memories. It might be that some of you have been 
really, you know, rolling in your head. You know, maybe you wake up in the morning if you have a few minutes or in the evening when you have time alone and you're thinking about people of your past and you haven't seen friends for a long time and, and you'd like to reconnect, but, you know, do they want to hear from you? And, and you had such good memories together. You did things together. You played together. Um, sometimes you, you know, were, uh, what I want to say, um, you were kids together and you enjoyed that, that time. I was going to say obnoxious. <laughs> well, you know, I don't mean that in an obnoxious or in a bad way, but obnoxious can mean, you know, we pulled something over on our parents when we were young and we thought it was, we thought we pulled it over on them, but we really didn't. And it was, it was fun. It was mischievous. That's the word I'm looking for. So maybe this has been a challenge to you in thinking um, about past memories and how to move forward past those. It can also sometimes indicate memories from childhood that weren't so great, limiting beliefs. And you're, those are coming up for you again. You know, we're in Mercury retrograde, so we're reviewing, right? Um, we're reanalyzing. So it might very well be that you're taking a look at your life and you're, you're determining what times have really been fruitful for you and what times have been the challenging parts. And the challenging parts, of course, move us forward. But it is a great time to review. It could also indicate that you connect with someone and that that meeting, reconnect with someone, and that meeting doesn't go quite how you want it to. Or it could be um, someone you loved and you know, you were in high school or younger and, and it didn't go right. But just think about how this Six is about harmony of feelings. So, you know, it, for a challenge, feel, think about how that could be a different feeling for you. All right. And in the third position, the unexpected is the five of pentacles. Well, it's not my favorite card for the unexpected, but, you know, hey, what can we say? Um, unexpected things come up like our car needs repair or we need to fix the foundation on our house because or we have termites. I was going to say because we see some cracks in the walls or um, it, it just feels like this could be additional expenses that come up. You're feeling a little bit blue about it. Um, you know, she has these pentacles money hanging over her head and she's dressed a little drabby. So she's really ruminating in this, this feeling of, I don't see the outcome. Where's the outcome? Well, really, if she just turns around, here's the standing stones. And the standing stones are where the mystics used to go to arbitrate and make decisions. And there was always enlightenment. So, of course, the next card would be the six of pentacles. And that would be harmony with your money. So, you know, if, if there are additional expenses that come up, just know that, you know, it's a glitch, yes, but you can get through it. You'll be able to, to get through it. You know, money is the same as energy. It's, we give money for a uh, product, for services. There was something else I was going to say about money, about energy about feeling like we have enough. You know, even if, if a large expense comes up, it's just having faith that, no, you're going to be taken care of. You're going to be provided for. All right. And okay, so in the outcome card position, we have two cards. We have the Oak King, which is the same as the Hanged Man. And then we have the Earth Mother, who's the same as the Empress card which is the typical mother figure. But let me talk about this first. The hanged man is not a man that's been lynched or hanged. That's rather violent. This is about someone deciding to take some time out, take a break to review again and meditate and reflect on their purpose, on how they can see things in a totally different way. 
And as you can see in this card, he's hanging upside down. He's very relaxed, and he's drawing out with his wand the number eight, the number of infinity, or the sign of infinity. So it, it feels to me like a lot of you all, by the end of April, will be focusing very much on your purpose. You may have had some new inspiration that comes up, because I'm looking at this Earth Mother, and she's pregnant. It looks like she's about nine months pregnant. And something, an intuitive hit, or you hear something, or you see something uh, that that inspires you, makes you feel creative, says, oh, you know what? I, I used to do that, and that I really enjoyed it, and you know what? I'm going to start incorporating that in my daily life again, or in my work, or in, in my uh, romance, romantic relationship, because she in this card is about to give birth. So this is about new creation. And I will tell you, um, you know, Libra is my sun sign as well. And on April 11th, which was the day of the full moon in Libra, something came to me as I was, I wasn't even meditating, but I was just sort of taking a break and I was uh, lying on the floor and it just felt good, you know, on the carpet. I have carpet in the, the rooms. And anyway, it just felt good. And it came to me something that I used to do that's very similar to, you know, cards and the numerology and all. I thought, oh, my God, I, I used to incorporate that in my classes. And it just sort of blew me away. And I got excited about it. So I'm feeling like for you guys, too, that if that hasn't already happened, that it can definitely happen by the end of April. And you feel inspired and you're ready to produce and uh, create that activity. Okay, my friends, let's see any, let's come up with one or two clarification cards. Well, the battle wagon, okay, so the same as the chariot card. The chariot card means that you're ready to really move quickly into new adventures. You know, just like I was saying, you're ready to leave the past behind. He's been through a little bit of a battle, but he has his white horses. His horses are for success and strength, and um, angelic blessings are taking you forward. There's the two of cups. So this is also about... Um, getting along, cooperating with others. It could be about loving another person. It can be about a partnership. So for some of you, this might be a good time for a partnership. And Nine of Cups, wow. The wishes, wishes come true. Nine of Cups or chalices, as this is called, is your wishes are coming into fruition. It can be in many different ways. It can be relationships, as you can see. We have all types of sizes of cups. It can be about your money, about your work. There's a lot of passion around here. Something you, you know, it, it could be something that you really get inspired by. She's looking in this crystal ball, which makes me want to look into my crystal. This is more of a gazing crystal, but hers is too. Well, Libra, there's, you know, what I'm getting most, first and foremost, there's plenty of room for expansion. So don't feel like you are um, tied down and you're not getting anywhere, you're not going anywhere, because actually you are. You know, sometimes plans are being made behind the scenes. The universe is concocting for us um, while we're not even noticing you know, it's like I said a minute ago when I was just taking a break from my work the other day and, and lying down and just really not thinking of anything. This awesome uh, relived moment came up for me. So understand that the delays are, are and can be a good thing. And just take a deep breath and keep your intentions strong. We do have a... Um, New moon, I believe it's around the 25th. So set intentions for the new moon. That would be great for this card to give birth to new ideas, to new um, dreams that you have. All right, I'm going to add the cards up and we have four and six is 10 and five is 15 and 12 is 27, 28, 29, 30. Well, three and zero is, of course, three and three is all about hope and and optimism and 
creative expression. I feel like that's coming up for you. You're going to use that throat chakra from your heart and create. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be verbalizing, but I feel like some of you will be. Um, what it is that you want and what you're wanting to establish in your life. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I've had a little bit of, there's some pollen going around here. I've had a little bit of a uh, scratchy throat. And well, of course, the three in the major arcana, look what the three, the third card is. It's the, the Empress card, the Earth Mother. <laughs> so don't you love it when that happens? All right. So I've discussed what this means. It's about being pregnant to new ideas. It can be about birth. So any of you Libras that are pregnant, um, congratulations, or that if you hear pregnancy, but it's, it's creation in one form or another. 